Hello everyone, Shadowlands back with another video. Today I'm going to be raiding Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The other day I did raiding Combat Arms and I wanted to do Counter-Strike Global Offensive today because I love this game. I've been playing it for a very long time. I've been playing since way back in the day when they had the Desert Storm missions. And now they have all these awesome online games and in my opinion, this is the best available um, first person shooter for competitive gameplay. There are a lot of really good ones out there, but this is in my opinion my favorite and I have a very big flaming passion for playing this game. I love it very much. So I think I have a really good standpoint on what I think is good and bad about it. So without any further ado, let's dive right into rating these. I'm going to be rating them in the same order that I did the combat arms ones. Um, all the same points. I'm not going to be making any different categories. So I'm going to be starting off with graphics. Graphics is a 9 of 10. The graphics of this game are beautiful. They have a smooth blend of realism and clarity. They have the sharpness of combat arms, but the fluidity of the more recent Call of Duty games, like everything past uh, like Black Ops 1, and they fit very well with the physics engine. However, uh, this is one of the biggest selling points of the game, so you really have to give this thing a lot of points. It's one of the reasons the game is rated so highly. The only downside is that at longer ranges, like physically further away from you in the game, the graphics become a bit distorted, but that's not normally noticeable since you primarily focus on closer range encounters in this game. You're not exactly going to be doing ridiculously long range sniping in this game like you do in combat arms across Snow Valley, so just a different thing. It, it's not that big of a deal in this game. Sound is only a 6.5 of 10. The music in this game is nothing to write home about. It's efficient and it serves only to relay information to the player. Music is not really a thing and the gunshots are still lagging behind modern sound effects. The in-game callouts are a really big bonus and they give the player good heads ups as to what's happening. Like when someone around you yells out, I'm reloading or something like that. There's a lot of those different kind of shoutouts and they really help you keep, it, keep your head in focus and what's going on in the game. There's no unnecessary sounds, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. There, it definitely lacks the elegance that a lot of other games have but on the other hand it's very efficient for a competitive shooter so depending on how you play the game you might have a different viewpoint in this I'm just rating it based on what's actually there but the problem is there's actually not much to show in the first place so that's why it's not getting a very high score while this can be a good thing it does feel a bit lacking at times that's just my personal opinion the physics engine is kind of wonky, but it's a good wonky. It's weird in a good way. Take the precision of combat arms and give it the fluidity, fluidity of like Soldier Frontier or Battlefield. It feels like you're moving on an ice rink and everything seems to slide a little bit, but not any further than you want it to or expect it to. Things happen exactly as you were as you would imagine it to, but it's more like you're playing in a dream rather than a sharp real time. However, this is more realistic to real life than a cold cut engine like Combat Arms has, so it just depends on what you're looking for in a game. I personally prefer it, but Combat Arms also has a very nice feel to it as well. Now, next up is new content. This is the lowest score for this game, 3.5 of 10. This game does not get many updates outside of occasional bug fix uh, fixes and like just slight adjustments to the game. New maps are really not a thing, nor are new guns or new physical content in the game. New skins are always really cool, but they don't have they don't really change the game in any way, if you know what I mean. Long story short, what you pay for is exactly what you get and what you will always have. Next up is existing content. The existing content is fantastic. It's getting an 8.5 of 10. It's a game with a legacy that's had a long time to perfect its art, and that is very evident in this game. Not only do they include remastered versions of old maps and content, but they added a bunch of new stuff to add diversity to the game. The competitive side of the game is flawless and very well balanced. Even brand new players are on even playing grounds with people who've been playing for a decade. Uh, like me. The next up is the community. This is an 8 of 10. The community is very detached, but that doesn't take away from the game at all. It's actually tons of fun to play with new people every game, and then add the ones you really like to play with later again. It's a community that respects everyone, accusations are pretty rare, and it's pretty obvious when someone's hacking, and it's usually well founded, so like if someone accusates someone, it's usually because they actually are hacking. There aren't usually a lot of false accusations in this game. Not saying there are never, but it's pretty rare. The player base is extremely mature in comparison to other player bases and overall has a very positive community. The only way to make this better is if there was a central hub in the game like Combat Arms or Soldier Front 2 that connects players inside the game rather than just on Steam. So not having to add friends to really talk to them and get a game going, but have like an overall like server selection list where you can and uh, in-game chat where you can talk to people that's like outside of the actual shooting and the action, but just like a hub for people to get together and talk. 
Next up is the management. This is a solid 9.5 of 10. This game has arguably the best customer service I've ever seen. It is fast, responsive, helpful, and extremely efficient. They do not run by a set of protocols to solve every issue. Like, they don't say like, oh, your issue seems to be relatively close to this one, so we're going to use this method to try to solve it and just hope it works. They have their own things for every single new case. They look at every situation as a brand new issue and carefully interpret the data and taking care of their customers. So they will look at your problem very, very specifically. Oh God, if you have a problem or you need to report something, expect it to be taken care of seriously and be ready for some amazing support. The overall rating is, once again, this is a direct average of all the scores I gave the other categories. To be honest, I actually don't believe that the 7.6 of 10 that I'm giving this is a perfect reflection of my personal opinion of the game. I would be more inclined to give the game around an 8.75, almost a 9. The sound isn't that much big of a deal to me personally, which is one of the biggest downplays of the game, so I wouldn't weight it as much in my personal opinion, but facts are just facts. Like I said earlier, I was waiting for what it is, not what I personally feel. Um, but this is not a big deal to me because I play competitively. Just saying, that's just the way it came out as the average. That being said, the amount of new content in the game seriously does drag it down, and that's a statement that I heartily support. That's the reason that I don't rate it a 9 or higher. They need to release new stuff every often or so to keep the game alive. Uh, rather than releasing new games entirely every time they have a new set of maps. Overall, though, it's a really fantastic game, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone willing to spend the money. I believe it's like 20 or 30 bucks or something. Definitely worth the money if you're ever able to get your hands on it, but that's about all for rating Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you want me to review another game or rate another game, post in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlance out.